Well, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Oh, it was kind of a rough night. I didn't. I was awake late last night, and I didn't sleep well all night. In a lot of pain, like always. <laughs> but I had to show you this because because I can. <laughs> but look at this a little monkey fart puked all over my uh, blanket last night. It just puked everywhere. Oh, it was so gross too. It was so nasty. So nasty, yeah. And then she pooped on her own personal pillow there. <laughs> Glad it wasn't my pillow. Oh my God, she pooped. But you know when they poop and it's really dry? Well, lucky for me, it was a really dry poop and I just had to pick it up and move it. It was fine. It didn't even stain or stink up the pillow at all. But uh, yeah, that was my night last night. So, oh, now I'm having coffee. Uh, yep, just sitting and having my coffee now. Uh, no thanks, baby. Angel, stop playing with that. My camera. <laughs> Ruined my shot for me, won't you? Oh, yeah, just having my coffee this morning. Uh, well, let's talk about pain. Chronic pain. It's insane, it's insane. Oh, I don't know if you can hear me or not, because it's Saturday and there's 10 million motorbikes going by today. I don't know what they're doing, but it's noisy as hell here. Yeah, anyway, so, oh, I've been in uh, like chronic constant pain for like 16 years now. Oh, it all started, kind of when I went through my chemotherapy they ruined my intestines and whatever organs and everything inside and ever since then I've got uh, okay come on come on come up okay don't come up oh make up your mind dogs <laughs> yeah I've got serious uh, pain from uh, that chemotherapy and that just uh, I don't know, gave me all sorts of stuff Including apparently fibromyalgia. Ah, oh, but yeah. I swear I gotta play with the dogs here. Uh, anyway, so uh, yeah. This chronic pain is crazy. I mean, the, my neck is really, really stiff and sore. My head kind of hurts. It's not a full-on headache, but it's kind of a lot of pressure pain inside my head all around here. Come here! Yeah, buddy! You found your balls again! <laughs> I just realized what all the noise of the motorbikes is. To, uh, they're doing the Port Alberni toy run for the kids for the hospital or whatever it is they do. But uh, <laughs> they just came in here. They were like in front of the burger place and then they had to come over here and park here. It's only about a thousand feet away. And now they have to come over here and the park here. So anyway, that's what's going on. So I'm going to have to redo my my clip uh, right now because uh, it's just been too noisy. Anyway, I got to go collect my dogs and uh, sort shit out here. They, in the other, basically what I'm trying to say is... Uh, they were just over there, over there, and then they moved over here. They didn't have to come here. It's only like uh, <laughs> 10 seconds away, but they had to come over here after being in front of the burger place. I don't get it. Anyway, got to go collect my dog, so ciao for now. There's more of them over there. And tons of them going up and down the highway up here. A bunch just went by, I just kind of missed them in the shot, but there's more over there as well. More over here. And they're everywhere today. There's thousands and thousands of them. <laughs> yeah, this is great. As soon as uh, I guess they're done their coffee break or whatever, maybe I can get on with my video. <laughs> okay, ciao. Yeah, they just keep going and going. <laughs>
単純だもん There's a massive amount of motorbikes. Massive amount. I don't know how many, but there's thousands of them. Here comes another one. And more coming here. I'm not in a very good position here. Look at them all, eh? Just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, possibly thousands of them. I don't know. Anyway, those guys over there are taking off. Gonna go join the rally, I guess. <laughs> endless, endless motorbikes. <laughs> Ciao. I finally got up close here. Couple of stragglers. <laughs> they just keep coming though, they just keep coming. Ciao. Actually a bunch of these cars and vehicles are actually in the toy run too. They just don't own motorbikes. <laughs> But they're all, uh, a lot of them are actually delivering toys to, I don't know if it's a hospital or what, uh, it's something to do with the kids anyway. They deliver toys to the kids at the hospital or something, but yeah. There we go, another, another uh, wave. And another small wave. There's more coming yet. It's all for the, uh, I believe it's the Port Alberni Hospital. I know it's Port Alberni. I'm not sure if it's a hospital or what. But... They just keep coming. Ciao. Coming and coming and coming. Pretty wild, eh? And coming and coming and coming. sure when they stop <laughs> but I see more coming down the road ciao There's a couple there and a couple more here maybe I can have coffee now <laughs> ciao And still more coming. Must be thousands of them. <laughs> Ciao. Look at that toy. <laughs> Crazy, eh? Oh my gosh. Wonder if they're done yet. And just a couple more stragglers here. Cool, eh? And yet there's even more and more and more. They all got teddy bears and toys and stuff all strapped to the back of their bikes. A 
One of them seemed to be split up by the traffic of the cars and trucks. Hey, you're going the wrong way. <laughs> Just had to wait for these guys to catch up. And these guys. guys and this guy ciao and two more here and another one here it's almost like never-ending motorbikes ciao Man, if all the motorbikes had gone all at one time, there'd be an, an endless stream of motorbikes from Coombs Junction all the way to Port Alberni, I swear to God. <laughs> all right, ciao. You see what I mean? If they all have all have had stuck together, like these other three coming as well, if they had all stuck together in one line, I swear it would have gone from Coombs to uh, Port Alberni. And that would be a lot of motorcycles. <laughs> okay, ciao. They just keep coming. I can't get any work done today. <laughs> Ciao. Couple more. And a couple more. Cool, eh? That looks just like uh, the one I filmed yesterday. And another motorbike. Ciao. So yeah, you may have a similar toy run in your neck of the woods somewhere, possibly. I'm not sure wherever you are, but uh, yeah, that's the uh, Port Alberni toy run. And uh, it's a really good thing. Uh, they take uh, toys to kids that, you know, that would never have them again. Or, have them in the first place let's say and uh yeah it's a wonderful thing and uh it's really cool they do that and like i said you might have something similar in your neighborhood but uh this one here port alberni uh toy run it's uh what started with with eight guys delivering a few toys to salvation army on their bikes just before christmas in 1984 now attracts upwards of 1500 motorbikes to port alberni the third weekend in September every year. So it's a really cool thing, you know, helps a bunch of kids that otherwise wouldn't have toys or something like that at all. And uh, yeah, so we always try and support them uh, with as many toys as we can help them out with. So anyway, we'll talk to you soon. Ciao for now. So I just bought this canoe off a really, really nice lady who is just parked outside the Bigfoot Burger joint. Yeah, she was settling the estate of her recently deceased brother, and uh, this was one of the pieces, and, you know, the whole situation, and like I said, she was really, really, really nice lady, really nice, we had a long conversation, and we uh, have a lot of things in common in sense, uh, you know, and uh, kind of both on the same page in lots of ways, so uh, basically, normally I would, uh, I'm a salesman, and I would dick her and that, and I'd, uh, you know, get, get it for a song kind of thing, uh, because uh, that's what I do and I can get things for good prices. But anyway, I just, uh, because of the circumstances and everything and such a nice person and that, I just said, you know, I'll give you exactly what the market value is right now. If you look on Kijiji or Facebook or uh, uh, Craigslist or any kind of thing like that, you know, 
uh, what the, the average price for one of these is going in the condition it is and everything. It needs a little bit of touching up and that, but that's not too bad. But So that's what I did. I bought this off her and uh, gave her a fair market price. So it was a win-win situation. I got myself another canoe now, the one I've been looking for and wanting. Instead of, uh, my other one was a 16 foot um, uh, fiberglass and I, could bear, I couldn't even really lift it anymore completely on my own. So I was dragging it mostly in a knot. This one I can throw right over my head if I want to. It's so lightweight and it's only, I think, I think it's maybe 14 feet, if that. But uh, yeah, super lightweight and, and uh, no problem for me to carry it on my own. And so, uh, yeah, I just uh, decided I needed another canoe and it'll go perfectly on top of my camper. Uh, no problem at all. And uh, this is really, really good shape. The seats aren't in here, but that doesn't matter. I can do my own seats in there. That's not a big deal. Not a problem at all, but uh, really good canoe and it's uh, still in great shape and it's aluminum and uh, it's all solidly riveted down, everything, uh, there's no leakage on here at all that I can detect at all. But uh, yeah, this is going to be great. I can't wait to get it onto the lake, like Spider Lake for one. This would be fantastic and uh, you know, uh, I got to do that as quickly as I can here. And as soon as I take it down to Spider Lake, I'm going to take you along and show you a really be beautiful tour via canoe around Spider Lake. That'd be cool, eh? Wonderful. Well, I can't wait for that to happen. So this is cool. It'll fit right on top of my truck and I can unhook my uh, trailer, and park it, and just take the canoe out to the lake and, and run around and show you some fishing maybe. That'd be cool. Anyway, this is awesome. I'm so stoked on this. And uh, there you go. I'll uh, just leave you with that and say ciao for now. And on top of that, she even gave me an original set of lawn darts in the original package and the original instructions here. Instructions are a little worn out, but that's okay. I don't need to read them. Doesn't matter. That's in French anyway. I got the wrong side up. <laughs> anyway, this is crazy. I used to have a set of these when I was young. I'm going to have to say they came out. 1965 or maybe 67 at the latest they came out when i was pretty young and uh, i had a set i have no clue whatever happened to them but i've always missed them and i always wanted a set and uh i was just uh, sort of uh well disappointed because at one point they were illegal <laughs> they banned them so you couldn't ha you couldn't buy them you couldn't have them you couldn't possess them and uh so when I saw these, I asked her how much she wanted, and she said, oh, you can have them. They're all yours, she said, because I think they're illegal. <laughs> and she says, I'm not really sure I want to hang on to them. So I bought the canoe off her, and she gave me free lawn darts, original and in the package. That is just too cool. I love it. I love it. And I love the fact that they've been banned. <laughs> and uh, I don't mind. I like lawn darts way more than I love horseshoes. So there we go. I kind of scored big time today. That's fantastic. All right, let's uh, see what else we can get up to, okay? Ciao. Hey there, Brent. I just got another visit from uh, Low Light Mike. <laughs> Are you jealous? Well, you should be. <laughs> yeah, he's a really nice guy, a really good guy. And uh, I know you like, uh, you and him like trains. And uh, he sure appreciates you. Uh, uh, mentioning him when uh, whenever you do the videos on it with trains in it so yeah he's a really nice guy and uh, um, I'm uh, that's two visits from him now so there you go you should be jealous <laughs> anyway we'll talk to you soon Brent ciao so yeah getting back to the coffee and the pain <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you out there really want to hear about this one. I'm positive about that. But anyway, yeah. Uh, so yeah, the chemo ruined my intestines, which ruined everything else. And it just causes stuff everywhere, including pain everywhere. And uh, wherever it actually comes from, I don't know, but uh, all of it. 
but uh, yeah so I mentioned like my neck is always like stiff I can barely move it sometimes I can't move it at all and can't look side to side it's like that bad and then I get the, the kind of the headache and pressure in the head up here and it goes down my neck and it goes down my spine to my lower back and uh, it aches across my shoulders and down my arms right into my practically into my wrists and everything and then oh with the um, Crohn's disease like it's intense intense body pains like all through my whole abdomen and all the way around and everything and then uh, then I'm up from my waist down it's my legs and uh, I think that's mostly the fibromyalgia for me is my legs I get this stupid what I call the achy leg syndrome which you lie down in bed and you're the pain in your legs all up and down your legs just keeps you awake you can't you can't sleep you just can't sleep it's impossible no matter how tired you are and uh, and uh, then on top of that you can't lay there and you just can't lay down there it's painful to lay down so you have to get up and you can't generally sit in a chair or anything you have to get up and stand or something lean on a counter <laughs> it's uh, the only way it feels better it's it's weird and then you have to somehow work through that until you can lay down and go back to sleep uh, that's for me that's my fibromyalgia uh, in my legs and especially at night but uh, fibromyalgia affects it, everyone kind of differently some people say they get it a lot in their face i i've heard of that before and that and some on their all their overall body and that um, yeah, I get it kind of all over my body as well, but my worst part is the legs at night and that. But like I said before, the intest severe intestinal pain, not just from the Crohn's and everything, and all the uh, symptoms and other th issues going on because of that. And uh, also on top of that, for me, I've had double rotator cuff surgery. I uh, fell one time, and uh, when I hit the ground and that, I tore the... My, this rotator cuff in two places in two spots and when uh, I went to the hospital to have it done um, the guy did a double surgery at the at the very same time and so they knocked me out so the both up and that and uh, this one uh, it was starting to heal until I um, got the uh, went through the chemo and got the crone, uh, Crohn's and all that happening and went through all that and at that point it seemed to have stopped healing and it hasn't started again because it ruins my sleep at night uh, lying on the shoulder it, it aches and aches and aches and aches and a lot of times I do have to take some kind of painkiller or not just to be able to go to sleep and get like three or four hours or something and then on this shoulder I had a 84 percent separation and that's quite a big separation and it never goes back and of course I have trouble sleeping on that shoulder as well so yeah body pain everywhere like <laughs> basically from my heads down to my knees or ankles and, and beyond I guess sometimes but uh, uh, that pains and severe cramps I get cramps where I didn't know you could get cramps before uh, before right everywhere I get them up in my lats and in my arms and my wrists and my hands <laughs> in my ankles in my feet in my toes and uh, of course the worst ones are the hamstrings oh my god those ones are killer 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 anyway back to the pain i guess <laughs> um yeah so the pain all over my body constantly and it's it's a bitch and, and i know i keep running into more and more people that just they've been living in uh, chronic pain for years years and years and uh Luckily for me, I have, you know, my previous doctor I had before had set up all my medications uh, for my Crohn's, uh, you know, everything, sleeping, everything like that, including pain and that. And so I just balance those, all of those meds that I take for everything, um, including for heartburn and stuff like that. I just balance those out and, uh, and I sort of kind of get through it a bit better but you know it still doesn't doesn't do it it's like these things are so deep that you know you, you just barely take the edge off most of the time anyway uh, I hope that helps some other people uh, out there because they're thinking about their pain and whether 
motorbikes are all going back now the other way. <laughs> anyway, um, you know, they're dealing with their pain out there for whatever reason. And I uh, hope uh, a lot of that helps. I know a lot of people are suffering from fibromyalgia uh, just in general and, uh, and lots of other pains. And, and uh, yeah, uh, tell me what you think in the comments, just like on the depression. And depression's one thing, but pain is a different ball game. And not that they're, this ain't a, this ain't a, um, a card game or anything, but uh, it's not a challenge, but uh, yeah, depression's one thing and pain is a totally other ball game and they're each in their own levels, but uh, pain, chronic pain is a bitch to live with and anyone out there that uh, has been suffering that for any length of time knows this, so tell me what you think and uh, I'm going to go make some more coffee because I just drank the last of it and uh, it's actually starting to cool down in the uh, weather these days, you can really feel it, so anyway, talk to you soon, ciao for now. Thank <laughs> you.